incredible VA series where we go over the different tasks that you can hand over to your remote staff so they can make your life easier. And uh, today we're going to talk about a bunch of little things that wouldn't necessarily warrant a, uh, a long video explanation. They're pretty intuitive as far as how they work, uh, but just ways to really take your time back. Because I'll tell you, I hear from people so often that uh, I don't have enough work for a full-time remote staff member, but yet they're always busy. Right. So not all of it's rocket science, and we just want to go through a few things that will make life easier and can pretty much be implemented super quick. Yeah. So where are we starting off? So the first thing that I have is uh, having our VA take meeting notes. So we have weekly meetings, sometimes multiple per week, and the you know our highest priority is to make sure whatever's said in the meeting we implement later. And it, I used to go to the meeting, take notes the entire time, then afterward I have to make a to-do list and then delegate to everybody that was assigned something. And now we just have our VA sit in on the meeting and then send everybody their ta tasks along with the priorities from those tasks. So that was that's very easy to do. I think we kind of did that right away. So you're present-minded in the meeting. Mm -hmm. You're not having to write things down while not listening or half listening to the person that's talking to you. And you're having traction with the to-dos. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And then the second thing I have is setting appointments. Mm. So, um, and this kind of happy happens a variety of ways. So, um, gosh, I'm trying setting appointments. Is so yeah. Different. So you're trying to tell me that not everybody gets to get a hold of you right when they yeah, want to. Yeah. No. Exactly. So, yeah. um, when somebody calls and I'm unavailable for some reason, I'm the BDM. I run the business and I have a three-year-old. So that happens every once in a while. Um, I will have one of the VAs either call back or they'll initially take the call and they'll set up a time for like 30 minutes from then or an hour later. So we're not, they're getting a live person and we're still getting a quick appointment. It's amazing what a little time management can do for your life. <laughs> yeah. So what do we got next? Okay, so confirming appointments. So sometimes I'll set a new owner appointment two weeks in advance or a month in advance or even a few days in advance. And so whenever I have appointments, my VA looks at my uh, calendar and she calls and confirms all appointments so I'm not driving across town for no reason. <laughs> there is nothing worse than prepping, doing everything for a meeting, and then the person just doesn't show up. Exactly. That's horrible. Yeah. Or they forgot you were coming. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's really helpful. And then uh, the this well, this isn't the last one. Calling tenants for showing schedules. So we pre-lease our properties at our management company and we also sometimes help our owners sell them while they're occupied. Mm -hmm. Um, and this one, it took take it took us a little longer to trust our VA with this process because no tenant ever wants to cooperate with showing. Some do if, if they're unicorns, but in general, it's not something they're excited to do. Um, so this has a little more teeth in it than some of the other phone tasks that we give our VAs. But whenever I know I have a listing coming up, I will call and ask them to confirm weekly appointment times. Or if we have a property going on the market and we're trying to pre-lease it before it becomes vacant, then they'll call and they'll schedule the, sh the weekly showings with our leasing agent and our VA. You'd be amazed. Or with our tenants. Okay. You'd okay. be amazed the feedback that I get from people when I mention that uh, pre-leasing is a way to you know make your owners more money, keep everybody happy, and yet nobody wants to deal with telling a tenant they who is in the moving process yeah. that hey. Get ready, strangers are coming in the home. Yeah. Why not let your uh, your remote team member, your virtual assistant do that for you? Yeah, and they're super polite about it. We have a system to be as courteous to the tenants as possible. It works really well. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the last one um, is just returning phone calls. So if I get, um, for example, if I was at Disney World with my son recently and I got a voicemail, I couldn't hear it, it was too loud. I'll forward it to them and say, do I need to call them back or can you return this call? Or I don't know who this is, can you please return the call and let me know if I need to take care of it? Um, so when I don't have time or I'm in the car or my son is screaming in the back seat, that's <laughs> always a good thing to fall back on. Now, these were all um, numbers that range between one and five, okay? In difficulty. Yeah, in, in difficulty. So these are super easy, quick to implement, and uh, some of you might be saying, ah, this is a little elementary. It is, it was supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> Tune into the next one because the next one's gonna be a little higher level, but still just quick snippets, so stay tuned.